Hello from Hearts. We can't wait for you to get started with us, but before you become an official Hearts student, you'll need to register. You must complete registration whether you're a new or returning student. Not only does registration mean you're an official member of our community, it also makes sure that any maintenance loan payments you receive from the student loans company will arrive into your bank account on time. So, let's get you registered. There are two stages when you register, and this handy video will take you through stage one. Look out for a stage one registration email from us. If you're a new student joining Hearts, you'll need to make sure your university login account is set up first. If you already have an account, check your junk and spam folders in case the registration email is waiting for you there. If you still can't see the registration email, contact our friendly Ask Hearts team by emailing ask at hearts.ac.uk. To begin your Stage 1 registration, you'll need to have your username and password handy and be able to log in to your student record. You can do this by clicking the link in your registration email or by going to www.studentrecord.hearts.ac.uk. Your username will look something like this, using your initials, the last two numbers of your start year and then some letters followed by hearts.ac.uk. If you're a returning student and having trouble logging in, contact our help desk for support by emailing helpdesk at hearts.ac.uk. When you log in to your student record, you will automatically see an updates page. Go to Services and click Stage 1 Registration to begin the process. If you can't see this, then contact ask at hearts.ac.uk. On this screen, you'll see your programme information. Please check your programme title, and if it's incorrect, contact ask at hearts.ac.uk. Don't continue the registration process until you have a reply, as it's really important that your programme details are correct. The dates for your programme will show for just this academic year. If the programme title is correct, then click Next to move on. From this screen onwards, you'll notice a really useful Save and Exit button at the bottom of the page. You can use this button to save your progress and come back to your registration at any time. But make sure that you complete your registration as quickly as possible. Now you'll need to enter your current address details for your home, for your term time accommodation and for your email. It's really important that these details are correct and you include all address lines and the postcode. If you're a returning student, simply recheck the addresses we have here and update if needed. So, what do these different types of addresses mean? For your home address, please put where you usually live outside of term time. If you're an international student, please put your overseas address. Your zip code will need to be entered into one of the address lines as the postcode lookup only works for UK addresses. For your term time address, you'll need to let us know where you'll be living whilst you're studying with us. This could be on campus accommodation, another address or your home address. The mailing address is what we use when we send you any important letters and information. We recommend you choose your term address, so you can tick the box next to Same as Term Address to save you typing out the address again. You don't have to put down a work address to complete registration, but if you're studying a program linked to an employer, such as a degree apprenticeship, we recommend you add it in. Right, once you fill this page out, click Next. You're nearly there now, but first you'll need to add in at least one emergency contact with the most up-to-date contact details. Your emergency contact should be someone that you're happy for us to contact on your behalf, in cases such as if you have an accident. You can click Add New to add another emergency contact or click Next to continue. The next section is all about data. As a UK university, we must provide data about our students to the Higher Education Statistics Agency, also known as HESA. You will need to select an answer for all of the questions on the next two pages. For returning students, if your circumstances have changed, please change it where necessary. If you'd prefer not to answer a particular question, you can select Information Refused. For more details about what each question means, click the wording that's underlined. Click Next when you've completed all your questions. On this next page, we're asking you about your career plans so our careers and employment service can support you through your time at Hearts. If you're not sure what your plans are yet, which is okay, 
you can explore your options while you study. Click Next when you're ready to move on. We're coming to the end of Stage 1 now, just a couple more things we need to know. We are proud to support students from many different backgrounds, so if these questions apply to you, please fill them in and our widening access and student success team can provide the support you need. Click Next when you're ready. Now you'll see a very helpful summary of all the information you've just provided, so scroll up and check everything carefully. If you need to change anything, click Previous to go back to whichever screen you need. Once you've checked your summary for a final time, have a read through our terms and conditions at the bottom of the page. Once you've read them and are happy to carry on, tick the box to confirm that you agree and then submit to complete your Stage 1 registration. That's it, you've now completed your Stage 1 registration. The next step is Stage 2, so you're well on your way to registering as an official Haas student and you'll receive an email confirmation shortly.